And I just want to say, look, I'm an immigrant and I'm not an animal. Um, I may smell like one. <laughs> I think I smell like one tonight because I'm a little nervous, but hey, Bruce Springsteen is getting the same award as me tonight, and he is the greatest lyrical storyteller in song ever. So this makes a special award even twice as special to me. And he was born to run, but I grew up in Queens, so I had to run. <laughs> and I ran all the way to Broadway, yo. <clears throat> and you know how they say people uh, that awards mean nothing until you win, win one? Well, it's true. This means a lot to me, because it validates my work in the theater. Because in order for me to make it in theater, I had to create my own parts. Otherwise, I was just going to be relegated to playing the gangsters, the janitors, the drug dealers. But we land people are so much more than that. And theater has allowed me to be much more than that. And you know why? Because there are no gatekeepers in Broadway, because all you have to write is write a great freaking story. And if you write it, they will come. And if you write it for Latin people and people of color, they will come too. I'm not done yet. And it's even more important with Latin people because we are the least represented minority across all media. That's why theater has always been my sanctuary, because this pervasive exclusion stops there. And it stops here tonight. And every night I was on Broadway because thousands upon thousands of Latin people showed up and paid unreasonable prices <laughs> just to be able to see themselves reflected back on one night they could feel someone was talking about them to them. My hope is that someday our stories won't be the exception but the rule that I will live to see a Broadway with our stories written by us, for us, and for all. Tonight I stand on strong shoulders that came before me just as others will surely stand on mine. Thank you, American Theater Wing and Broadway League for this Tony Award. I want to thank Tony Tacconi, the director of Latin History for Morons, one of the great directors in the world who happens to be Puerto Rican. Nell Nugent, first woman producer on Broadway and a pioneer, the, the public theater, which is run by the amazing Oscar Eustace, and a beast for storytelling, and the incredible dramaturge Mandy Hackett, and my agents, Mark Subius and Doug Etley, my lawyer Jim Gillio, the stage crew, my friends, my dear friends who are my support system, my family, my wife Justine, who is my better half, no, she's my better three quarters, let's be honest. My daughter, Allegra, whose moxie keeps me going. My son, Lucas, who my play Latin History for Morons is based on, and whose own personal success is my sweetest reward. And my mom, without whom I would be here, because single moms are like superheroes, man, because she gave me the antidote I needed to overcome. With her daily affirmation, John, you can do anything you set your mind to, mijo. She armed me with a secret shield against the invisible glass ceilings, unspoken quotas, and cheap tokenism. Esto para todos ustedes, mis hermanos y hermanas. Nunca retrocedan y nunca acepten menos. And let's never forget the 1,500 missing Latin immigrant babies in detention. <laughs> and 4,645 dead American citizens in Puerto Rico. Never forget them. Thank you. <laughs>